it doesn't really surprise me at all that Horsehair did not air during the um the June Bugs Marathon of Bugs Bunny cartoons in 2001 because well it was pulled from that because of potentially offensive portrayals of Native American individuals and when I was watching this there were a few times particularly with the character of Geronimo where I thought this is really awkward there are bits that are fine but there are definitely bits where the depictions of Native Americans are just pretty awful. This is a 1960 Warner Brothers cartoon directed by Fritz Freelang and written by Michael Maltese. And Mel Blanc voices all of the characters, including Bugs Bunny and Yosemite Sam. And it's actually Sergeant Bugs Bunny. And he's in charge of the fort. And I have to say, Bugs looks brilliant. I love the way the character is animated. I love the costume he is wearing. I love how tall and proud he stands. There's something about the character of Sergeant Bugs Bunny that works really well here. But then we have Yosemite Sam on the other side, obviously trying to um, take siege of the fort. And he's in charge of an army of Native Americans who are referred to as Indians throughout. But I will try not to use that term here. And as I said, some of the depictions are not too bad, but some of them, particularly with Geronimo, are just terrible, really awkward, um, very, very cliche and not as bad as some. Uh, like There have been worse treatments of Native American characters in cartoons from around this time, but it's definitely not great. The actual narrative itself of Sam trying to... Um, take hold of the fort, nothing wrong with that, absolutely fine. The narrative could have worked, while I say this, I don't know that much about American history, this is set in the 1800s, um, I don't know that much about, I can't say with confidence that it would work if the characters were not Native Americans, but I feel like it could have done. Um, please, please feel free to correct me or, or um, you know, confirm that that would be the case. But the point is, it didn't need to be this awkward, and the narrative still would have worked. It's well animated in terms of bugs, um, the backdrops are quite appealing, the music is occasionally good, um, Bugs does sing, I don't actually know what the song, is it the song called Ten Little Indians? Is that the name of the actual name of the song? Um, he sings that at one point, and there's a comment, <laughs> a really common, a really awkward comment he makes about a half-breed, and it just, it, it was so uncomfortable. Uh, it doesn't surprise me. It, it surprises me that it wasn't one of the Censored Eleven. Certainly it's not as bad as some of the Censored Elevens, but I feel like it probably could have been. Um, or, I guess, Censored Twelve in that case. Um, it's worth watching for the right reasons, but it's definitely not a, a perfect cartoon. There are definitely flaws in it. I enjoyed bits of it. Other bits were really awkward. I'd love to know what you think of Horsehair. I, I am surprised it's not one of the Censored 11 or Censored 12. Uh, definitely could have been. Certainly a very interesting cartoon. Let's leave it at that.